Distinguished guests, Alibaba Cloud partners and friends, ladies and gentlemen, this is Richard Zhang, the solution architect of Alibaba Cloud International Sports Industry. We know more and more the broadcasting workflow are moving to the cloud. With the emerging of the ultra high definition and digital video platform, the requirements of storage had increased significantly compared with the requirements of high definition signal archiving. First of all, let's crawl from the video from IBC Showcase to see what Mr. Mario Reis, the Director of Telecommunication of Olympia Broadcasting Services, would say. Hi, hello. Uh, very welcome from Tokyo, from the IBC. It's really a big pleasure for me to be here with uh, Alibaba and the team of Alibaba Cloud uh, from the IBC. My name is Mario and I'm the Director of uh, Telecommunications and OTT for uh, OBS. In Tokyo, we are using uh, Alibaba Cloud Services on our OTT platform. We call it the uh, Olympic Video Player. It's a live uh, OTT platform designed together with Alibaba. And um, the biggest uh, enable of uh, working with Alibaba was really the time to market uh, to deploy the, the, the platform and the reliability that Alibaba brought uh, in, into our service. Uh, this would, wouldn't be possible without uh, having Alibaba working with us for three years. Uh, we have the two data centers, we have the highest possible resilience and reliability on, uh, on our platform and the services. And this is, this is thanks to uh, Alibaba Cloud uh, uh, services and the team behind it. So the future, we cannot see it without cloud uh, and it's hard to imagine without uh, Alibaba Cloud. Uh, we really believe that it is extremely important to have uh, Ali Cloud services within this building, within the IBC, in order to facilitate the access and the ingest of content, the massive amount of content that we generate here, in order to facilitate the distribution of this content worldwide. Uh, so Edge Cloud is really it is becoming of paramount importance for our activities. And we believe that uh, Alibaba, and together with Alibaba and the Alibaba services, we can do it. The reason why it's important to have uh, uh, Ali Cloud as an edge cloud provider is exactly to facilitate the democratization of access to content worldwide. We cannot forget that nowadays there are still a lot of countries who cannot receive the big amount of content that is generated in the Olympic Games. The other important thing uh, when it comes to cloud is really the impact of uh, our activity in the whole city. The cloud really enables us to minimize the impact, to minimize the amount of hardware, software that we bring into the, into the whole city. And uh, therefore, it enables us to speed up uh, the workflows and to minimize the time to market uh, from our activities in the whole city. Uh, I think a third, a very, a third important aspect of the of having the cloud, and we would like to do this in Beijing already, is to merge the Alibaba cloud services together with 5G in order to foster a more color, co collaborative approach from the venue uh, to the end user and to enable and to promote end user generated content. And we really think that is very important in order to connect the athlete with the fun. Light up digital broadcasting and experience at the Olympic Games with uh, Alibaba Cloud. A uh, warm welcome to Tokyo 2020. Thank you, Alibaba Cloud, and uh, enjoy the Olympic Games in Tokyo. Today, we have the honor to invite Mr. Alex Chen, Fellow of Cloud Infrastructure, Alibaba Cloud Intelligence, to share with us. Welcome, Alex. Alex, I have a question for you. Considering the volume of the broadcasting data of major sports events, could you provide us any suggestion based on our cloud solutions? Thanks, Richard, for that introduction. Personally, I had the fortune of attending in person several Olympics in the past, and the experience was truly spectacular and memorable. Part of the challenge and the opportunity for this major sporting event is to focus on how to bring this rich experience to just about anyone in the world as if he or she were attending the event in person. Now, I remember being completely amazed back in 2008 
when I saw for the first time people around me were viewing the Olympic event through their mobile device instead of hovering over a TV. Think back, that's really made possible through technology advancement in mobile networking. And now in 2021, with the unprecedented number of total and concurrent viewers around the world, and the unprecedented amount of rich and interactive media content, the world needs a different approach to the infrastructure. With the power of cloud computing, we're able to ingest massive amount of media data anywhere and deliver this rich content everywhere to the world. To anyone with a phone or laptop or tablet or watching front TV. Alibaba Cloud Object Storage houses over tens of exabytes of data, which is tens of thousands of petabytes of data and hundreds of millions, billions of operation requests in any given day. Our infrastructure is deployed around the world, serving customers everywhere. Every and each object in object storage can be individually life-cycled with hot, warm, cold, or very cold access property to different tiers of storage, therefore saving mass amount of total storage cost. Due to our optimal network pairing, there is no egress cost from Alibaba Cloud Object Storage to Alibaba Cloud CDN or to one of our CDN partner networks, such as Cloudflare, which then provides a secure, reliable, and economic total solution, which can easily support this level of massive workload. Thanks, Alex. As we know, the live broadcasting services, games management services, and the information system are all the core system of the major events. Which has the key to the successful delivery? What can we do to ensure the reliability of the core system and services? To support such major worldwide event, the scale and complexity of the system is enormous. Not only do you need storage, compute, networking, security, container, database, middleware, CDN, analytics engines, all these products to work seamless together without downtime. But also you need to be able to monitor your end user experience end to end. Now from the user point of view, slow is sort of just as disruptive as system outage. Due to the timeliness nature of this information, Everyone in the world will want to know the current score or who just won right away, not minutes after. So for the operation team, it is not enough just to keep the system online, but also need to keep the optimal experience for all these concurrent viewers. This represents a huge amount of challenge. You need to rethink IT operation. If there were glitches in the system, how do you cut through all these noise how do you not overwhelm by all these false alarms and identify the problem? By leveraging Alibaba Cloud Log Service, you would collect all these logs, trace, metrics data efficiently within the cloud, at the edge, and at the endpoints. Then you will be able to correlate all this data end to end for full stack visibility and analysis. Issues that will normally take hours or days to pinpoint now you could be isolated within minutes. And you no longer have to switch from one system to the other. Issues also that were sometimes intermittent, sort of sick but not dead problems. Now you can correlate the history, recognize the pattern, and take action. Log services then provides event-driven on-call response management to cut through sort of all these noises, detect the issue, and enable the operation team to catch and resolve the issue before they really start to impact the users. Thanks, Alex. Technology certainly have made things that were impossible possible today. What are the, some of the technical advancements you would expect in the near future? Could you share with us? Looking forward, unstructured data growth in the world is exponential with increased media content, higher resolutions, and more IoT devices. And the speed of which data will need to be delivered to massive number of people will only increase. The inevitable mass adoption of AR and VR for more immersed and interactive experience 
will inspire a whole new generation of applications. I believe at the heart of all this is the continuing advancement of cloud computing technology. For an example, we're already extending our public cloud to the edge with the launch of edge node services and local zones to bring cloud computing power closer to the end consumer and to further reduce network latency. We're also continuing to co-locate rich media processing capabilities closer to storage. With intelligent media management product, you can transcode and process the video data at the storage layer to further improve performance. Also, our system will get more and more intelligent. Operation will become more AI-driven or AI-assisted, also known as AI ops. Self-learning modules could identify patterns and isolate problems in the system to take optimal recovery actions automatically. So in summary, while the system will get more complex, the scale will get more massive, performance will increase over time, the operation will actually get more manageable. That's all I'd like to share today. And finally, let's enjoy this great worldwide sporting event. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Alex, for the sharing. Please contact with us if you have any question about the cloud infrastructure services. This is Richard from Alibaba Cloud International. Stay tuned and see you next time.